We're going to make some wood grilled bacon egg English muffins. They're going to be delicious. Let's get it. Got this new copper uh, bacon tray. So what I'm going to do is put some bacon in it and see if we can have ourselves a, a safe bacon cookout over this fire here. I got some English muffins toasting up in that foil right now. And then we're going to make some eggs and have some like egg bacon English muffin thingies. They're going to be good as long as the bacon works. Yeah, we don't need a tape measure for this. We just need some bacon. I got some thick cut bacon, some meagers. I figured with using this thing, you're gonna want thick cut bacon. Well, it fits in there pretty nice. The idea, I guess, behind this pan is so all the bacon grease can go down to the bottom and then you don't have to, you know, deal with all the grease or matting it off with a paper towel or anything like that. It'll just be cooked grease-free bacon. And that's what uh, we're hoping for because really the grease sucks. Give you the shits. All right, bacon tray loaded. Holds 12 slices of bacon. Let's get it. Okay, so I added some extra bacon. Who doesn't love extra bacon? Even if you just sneak the pieces down and they're not on a sandwich, you gotta love them. I always love to add a couple of pepperoncinis to the mix. It just adds that, it's like a beautiful extra spice to the eggs, you know? So you want to toss them in your oil first and let them sizzle around a little bit and let some of the oils come out of them and like bond with the oil in your pan before you add your eggs. All right, you're going to want to add some butter. It's going to add a little bit of extra added lube to your eggs and keep them from sticking to the pan. Make them super delicious. Plus, it really melts in and soaks nice with the peppuccinis. You know, it's like, ah, you know, it's a beautiful thing. All right, now I just dumped a little bit of the extra butter out. Uh, there was just a bit too much I added in there. But you know what? It added to the fire and, you know, spruce things up. So let's add some eggs. We're gonna take and we're gonna start with one and and then we're gonna add more. Yep, there's two. It's gonna be delicious. By the time we're done, there's gonna be six eggs in this pan. Boom! There it is. Six eggs. Let's make some sandwiches, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I toasted these English muffins along the way. They're not burnt. They're not crisp, they're soft. You know, they turned out soft, they're warm, they're really nice. So we're gonna add some bacon to them. All right. 
right, here's our six eggs again. They are complete. They're an over medium with a couple of nice roasty toasty pepperoncinis. We're gonna lay that egg straight across the top of the bacon and add our little pepperoncini to the top. Again, I, I'm not a big fan of cheese, but I love those pepperoncinis. This is gonna make a really nice touch to the sandwich. Let's give it a try, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen, to a long, hard day's work.